I'm Landry Duyogadani Suara from State University of Surabaya for Exchange Hamada Chapter 2. Four years studying English makes me realize that education is very important. I, therefore, decided to be a teacher. I found that teaching is essential to support education, and it is my passion. To share my knowledges, being a teacher is a correct way to tell people and young generation on how crucial an education is in determining their future. English is just a subject that I teach. English may sound so ordinary for people. However, English debate is really my passion. I practice debate every time with my juniors and share what I have acquired to them. It is not just an activity, but teaching debate to juniors will result a great outcome. The critical thinking will be sharpened and we are expected to be sensitive in any issue. The amazing outcome is we are able to think critically in which we are open-minded to any perspective. This patient leads into a satisfying result. Trophies are just some appreciation I got from the effort I do. Not only coaching debate to my junior, but also coaching one of vocational high schools in Kediri is my moral responsibility. I saw a strong will of students to learn and they are so determined to enhance their English and debating skill. It comes to my mind that teaching them what I've got is paramount. The process we've been through is really meaningful. The distance, time, energy, are just things we need to sacrifice for a better development. Always try and try and never give up. The efforts never betray the results. We've been working hard and there are some trophies we got to achieve. In next gen Hamada, I really want to spread the positivity in teaching and learning. The meaning of struggles and how important a patient is in life. Hopefully, this is beneficial for others. This year exchange is going to be in Sydney, Australia. That is the place where some of English materials are made. I highly expect to have an opportunity to visit this place in order to enhance my English skills as well as to inspire me more to teach English. One of the visits is to Sydney University, in which I really want to meet its world-class debaters. Besides, the experience of meeting new friends in this program makes me more excited. I expect to have an exchange information, knowledges, experiences, and many other stories. If I am given a chance to us, I really want to have a discussion with the government as well. I want to know their perspective about education, especially English, in an AFL country like Indonesia. I also expect that the talk show may encourage me to keep being productive in teaching and how valuable a teacher is for someone's future. Exchange Hamada allows me to have a bigger chance in bringing my dreams into reality. Moreover, this exchange allows everyone to sign up and join the program. It has inspired me a lot so that I really want to participate. A promising agenda has been created to make everyone easily see an interesting set of activities. 
Personally, I define patient as something that triggers my struggles. It is not limited to what makes us happy and what we like to do. However, patient allows me to be persistent. There must be a time and chance for people to give up. Some are not ready, afraid of, or even enough with failure. Yet, patient makes me remember how important my efforts are. It reminds me that the result never betrays the efforts and struggles. Furthermore, patient is a fuel and source of creativity. I keep doing my best to find a way in reaching my dream. When people say it is impossible to do, with patient, I'm even more passionate to explore and prove that it is possible. To some extent, it breaks the social prejudice of what is good on the indirect perspective. Lastly, what makes us patient paramount in my life is because patient defines who I am. I can be fully like what I want to be. There is no regret even though ups and downs keep coming. I'm proud of myself with the patient I have. This is my dream for the sake of the short success. That is to say, I'm not going to forget my dream, but rather I'm going to establish my success in an early period. That is to say, I'm going to have like fixed up.